something came to my mind and it is really going to make sense. A while ago, let me say this. What are some good ways if I want to minister to you about God or teach you about God, what are some ways that I can teach you about God? Word of mouth. I can go around perhaps holding up signs, telling people to serve God or repent, or I can speak in a very loud way and tell people to serve God. I can teach others at work, have casual conversations about God with other people to minister to people things of God, right? That is a very common way. Also, well, I have down on here friends, but friends kind of run in to word of mouth as well. Because when you are around your friends or godly friends, they are going to teach you or influence you to want to serve God more. So let me cross that out. So friends and word of mouth, maybe let me put a slash here. Okay. What else? Well, another way I remember when I was a kid, actually at this particular church that I go to every so often, what they do is show a DVD about some teachings about God. So another way that you can minister to people about God, show them DVDs about God, TV series, TV shows, movies, things about God. That is another good way to minister to people about God. What is another good way? Music, Christian music, music that sings praises praises to God. That is a good way to minister to another person about God. Okay. If I want to minister to you about disobedience to God, things that are against God, things that are against God, things that are wrong. If I want to teach you, listen to me now. If I want to teach you, I have shown you or told you ways that I can teach other people about God. Now, if I want to teach you things that are against God, what can I do? Word of mouth. I can come around you and talk in a very sexual way, a very perverted mouth, around you cursing, using these words and those words, bad words, teaching you how to use foul language, teaching you how to make very lewd, crude, rude jokes, right? Word of mouth. Well, the same thing with friends, your co-workers and stuff like that. Staying around the sinful people, you are going to learn sinful things. No surprise. Can you learn properly about God around people who are very sinful. 
not likely. <laughs> I know that <laughs> there is this one person <laughs> and he comes on my parents' street and this guy gets drunk and then he starts to <laughs> talk about God. <laughs> he starts to preach to people about God. And he had like his drink in his one hand <laughs> and he's really drunk and trying to teach people about God. <laughs> oh my Lord. Oh. And I am thinking <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> if you know so much about God, why aren't you doing it? There is this another person, this other person. Sometimes when he come by me, like he tells me about the Bible and stuff like that. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and this guy is not even doing anything. <laughs> Not even living by the Bible, but he comes behind me and teaches me about the Bible or tells me about the Bible, pretty much preaching to me about the Bible. And sometimes when I want to say something, if I disagree with this person, like he's not willing to hear me out, but <laughs> he wants me to sit there and listen to him. <laughs> And preach to me. <laughs> he wants me to sit there and listen to him. And I'm sitting there. I'm like. <laughs> the nerve of people man. Okay. So what are some more ways. On how you can minister to people. About things. That are against God. That are not of God. So we said word of mouth and friends being around the wrong people. Separate yourself from sinful people unless you are teaching them. Even then, you need to stay away from them if they choose to not want to do right. It is too much of a risk to stay around those type of people if they choose to not do right. Some people are just wicked. Okay, what are some more ways that you can teach people things that are against God? Sin. The most common one really is TV shows and movies. If I want to teach you about sex and how to steal, how to curse, how to do wrong things, I can make a TV show, movie, or cartoon and have stuff showing to you all day long, ministering to you things that are against the Bible. People don't think about this. Kevin, watching movies is okay. Kevin, watching TV shows are okay. Even if they have some sex in there. Even if they do some French kissing and, and, and showing the woman's breasts and butt. That is okay. It is not a big deal, Kevin. But I was just telling you earlier about ways that I can minister to you with things of God. Movies and TV series were one of them. So if I can minister to you about things of God and it is going to affect you, why wouldn't showing you things that are against God, why wouldn't that affect you? Huh? 
But Kevin, you know, I was raised up watching movies and TV shows about killing people and shooting and kissing and all this lust. Show me how women cheat on their husbands and how husbands cheat on their wives. I am used to seeing those things. I am used to seeing bad things on TV. Please don't take it away from me, Kevin. You don't have to leave it. You can do whatever you want to do, but you tell me that you want to change. But you are not willing to leave these things alone Ministry comes in all forms. Just ministry just don't come in the form of going to church, listen to a person teach. No. If a woman walks outside with no clothes on, or a man walks outside with no clothes on and walk up and down the street, he is ministering to you. She is ministering to you. Things of lust. If a man is not dressed right, and if a woman is not dressed right, wearing really tight-fitting clothes, showing their private parts and stuff like that, they are ministering to you. I don't have to speak to you to show you things of God. By the way I dress and carry out my life, I am showing you how to live for God. So the nonverbal is as good or probably better than what you say. Movies and TV shows. Kevin, it is not that bad. Yes, this person is cheating and he's backstabbing people and he's lying. But that's not affecting me. But you are not serving God, though. You are lukewarm. And watching TV shows and movies that are not about God, you watch those things and you say that it is not affecting you, but you say that you can't stop sinning. Ministry comes in all forms. Okay, what is another way that you can minister to people of things that are not of God. Music. I would say music is either the top one or second behind TV shows and movies. I believe music may be the top one because there are so many people addicted to music. So this rap music, man, you should never listen to rap, R&B, what else, hip-hop. Just throw that mess away. Ignorance. People say that, <laughs> I remember this one person told me that music don't influence them. Okay, why is everyone getting these dreadlocks? Why is everyone wearing these really tight-fitting jeans showing their sagging, <laughs> sagging skinny jeans showing their underwear? Why is everyone wearing what these music artists are wearing if no one is being affected by music? Why are people playing out what they are watching or listening to if no one is affected by, by music? Many of the things that you are being shown is not even in your interest, but because you are going to be ministered we are ministered by many forms of things. If you entertain it, 
it is going to take a hold to you even if what you are doing is something that you are not really interested in. There is, man, there is a spirit in everything. It's either a spirit of God or a spirit of Satan. There is a spirit to everything that you do. So if you entertain it, even if it is something that you don't really like, but because you are entertaining it or taking heed to it, you are going to do it or wear it or intervene with it in some type of way. Dreadlocks. Dudes wearing dreadlocks all the way down to their back and stuff. That stuff... I don't want to sound mean, and I am not this fashion guy or whatever else, but dreadlocks does not look really good, man. It looks not good. I would say it looks trashy, to be honest. It does not look good. For the most part, now, have I seen dreadlocks that look nice? Yes. But for the most part, no. And I am not trying to make anyone mad or anything like that. Now, there are other forms of music that I don't know about that may be bad. That may teach about against what the Bible says. And if it does, what you should do is not listen to it. There are many forms of ministry. You can be ministered by things of God or ministered by things of Satan. As you can see now. So when a person tells you to stay away from TV shows and movies that are not of God, friends who don't want to serve God, so on and so on, now you know why. This is why you can't change because you are constantly being ministered by things that are not of God. Listen, I am trying to learn more about God, right? Yes. So what do I do? I listen to other people teach. I pray more. I do other things of God. I intervene with God more so I can grow more in God. But how can I grow in God if I am placing him on the side and listening to rap music or doing things that are not of God and I am wondering why I am not connecting with God properly. How can I think that way? How can I expect to get close to God when I am staying away from God? I want to get close to point A, but instead of walking to point A, I am walking away from point A and I am wondering why, why am I so far from point A? Why am I not at point A yet? It has been two days and I, and I have been walking away from point A and I am wondering why I am not there yet. Makes no sense, right? Well, it makes no sense to continue to do things that are not of God and expect that you are going to get closer to God. <laughs> Kevin, why can't I do right by God? <laughs> are you reading your Bible? No. <laughs> are you praying? Not really. <laughs> are you going to church? No. <laughs> but I should be close to God by now, even though I don't do those things. <laughs> I pray that this makes sense. 
you expect to get close to God, <laughs> but you're not even coming near him. <laughs> I can't stop sinning. <laughs> even though I laugh about it, I am not trying to make anyone mad or anything like that. I am just trying to show you how crazy that sounds. And I pray that this makes more sense now. Just don't look at my videos and say, hey, what you are saying is true. And you that is a very good video that you made, blah, 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 blah. And then you not do it. I do these videos to help you change, not for you to be entertained, per se. So let me stop here. God bless.